hi, welcome to this tutorial vlog of mine. This time I want to show you a way to get more power out of your computer. A bit of background. I work rather freely, I want to move freely, so I want to all my gear to fit in very small bags and I'm doing all of my work on this laptop. And this laptop, three years ago, it was the most powerful laptop that I was able to get my hands on. But now it's not that fast anymore. I have been starting to think, well, instead of the computer working hard, how can I work smart? Okay, let's go to the computer and let me show how fast I can render. So this is a basic edit from one event. It's uh, more or less one minute and there's a lot of uh, many layers of LUTs and color corrections and grading. So let me go and file and export media. And let me export it out as a ProRes master and let's put it full HD, yeah everything's okay, so I'll render and just check how fast it will take. It's, uh, it's one minute and it will render it out less than one minute, so it's faster than playback. interested how I was able to get it render it so fast well the trick is it didn't work harder it worked smarter and here on the computer you can see that there's this green line covering the whole sequence and this green line means that the whole sequence is actually already rendered and on the sequence settings here we can see that the sequence is already rendered to the same resolution at the same codec that I choose when, when I was exporting this so that was the trick. And here on the and here on the export media, I click this button, use previews. I was just exporting already rendered clips. And why this is smart is that when my client now tells me that please do something about this one clip. Or let me let's let's say that they want to um, they need to increase the exposure or something. When I render this out everything else is already rendered. I only have to render this one, this one part. And by this I'm able to spread the rendering process to longer periods of time. I'm allocating not more CPU power but more time to rendering. Okay, so how to utilize this function? Well, when I'm reaching the end of a project, so for example this project I've uh, done the edit but I haven't done the graphics yet. So when it's almost done, I open the sequence and I go to the end of the project and I place an out point. And so now this whole sequence, that this gray area, is the working area. And whenever I'm going to go and get myself a new cup of coffee or just want to take a break, I leave the computer, I press Command R and I leave the computer rendering. And the Command R uh, um, starts the rendering process. So now I'm rendering out previews from the project. And it's here, sequence, render in and out. This menu item doesn't have a shortcut to begin with, but you can go to uh, Premiere Pro, keyboard shortcuts, and then type here, render. And here in render in and out, you can place whatever shortcut you want. So that makes it very uh, easy. And whenever I want to take a break, I just press Command R and go off from the computer. And when I come back, I can start continuing with the edit and the computer rendered each clip that it had time to do. And eventually I will have everything green and I can, I can render it out very quickly. And this works even if you're going to render out in, for example, to YouTube to H264. And this will render the, all the effects ready. And when you're rendering out, even though you're not rendering to ProRes as the sequence was set to be, you will still have much quicker rendering because you're only transcoding from ProRes to H264. And that's it. I hope this was useful. Bye.